Hey guys, I have three Funko Pops here with me today that I'm going to show you. So, uh, yeah, let's start. <laughs> so I have Inasha, 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 we're going with Inasha. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to pronounce that. We have Inasha from one of the other schools. I don't even remember which one. I'm still ir irrelevant in this season, bro. Very detailed. I don't even remember what this guy really looked like. I mean, I know who I recognize him. I know like this, and from what I remember, I think he's like pretty accurate. Like, <laughs> well, let's can't put it back in there. Um. I know I don't like make like news videos or anything, but for anyone who hasn't heard, Danky finally has a Funko Pop. Actually has two. They're the same Funko Pop, but like one fell in the dark or whatever. Yeah, go in the dark. I will own both of those. And if I do not, I will cry. Um but that entire wave. Like that one, like that toga and everything. I want that entire line. Like, probably my favorite wave so far. So, uh, yeah. Because there's two Dankies, two Azukus, um, two Idas, two Shinsos. I don't even remember who else is even in the line. Hold on. Ida, Izuku, Shinzo, Tokoyami, Danki, Toga. I don't remember who the other person was. Anyway, the person I'm forgetting, um, Danki, Izuku, Ida and Tokoyami, and the person I'm forgetting, all have Golden Arc variants. And then Shinso has a Chase. So there's Shinso, Toga. Okay. So Shinso, Ida, Izuku, Denki, Tokoyami, the person I'm forgetting, and Toga. So there's 13 Funko Pops in this wave. And that's what we know of. They're probably going to add 257 more because all the MHA lines have 28 Funko Pops at least. And only like three of them are everywhere. You know, I love Funko, but I also wish they didn't exist. Because like, like, I love collecting. I love Funko Pops. I love their plush. I like their figures. Their minis. Whatever. Like, I like all their stuff that they make. But with these stupid things, with these stupid things, they never make who you want. And when they do, it's not the way you want it. And when you get both of those, there's 15 variants. And it's like, yay, great. I get to collect more of this character, but they all look the same. So it's like, like besides one being like metallic or in the dark or something, what's the point? Now, this is coming from someone who, either way, is still going to get them all because I am stupid. And I'm falling prey to the literal thing that I'm complaining about. But, like... <laughs> it 
and like the one anything that's Walmart exclusive, I'll pick it up as soon as I see it. Because all the Walmarts around me never stock and they're exclusives. And if they do, it's three months later. And by three months I mean like this guy. He came out like the beginning of the year. I got him last weekend. No, I got him the weekend before last weekend. Two weeks ago. It's crazy. Like the Arctic Ballora, Frostbite BB, all that stuff. I'll see him next year if I get them. And the Phantom Foxy Snap set or figure. Probably get him in December. It's stupid, but it's whatever. I'm trying to wish didn't tell you this was Luke Skywalker and Grogu. I have like a bunch of videos recorded. Actually, that might be a lie depending on when this comes out. As of making this, I have like seven videos recorded that I haven't edited, put, put for like, like when you, when you like list it and it like, you can like have it like post another day. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, look at how cute he is. Like this is a good figure. Look at him. <laughs> I love him. He's so cute. Yeah, so since I've been ranting this whole time, I might as well keep going. Might as well keep going. My stepsister just moved out. And if she stays moved out and doesn't come back, so I'm gonna like wait till like next time I go to my dad's. Because, as you can tell, this is not my normal setup, background, or anything. I'm at my mother's. Um, but if she does not come back, we are going to completely redo my room, kind of. Like, yeah. Then I'm going to have a cork board up. Probably some of my posters. More shelving, more stuff. Yeah. Anyway, if that happens, you'll get another room tour, and I'll like when I set up my shelves, I'll probably make a video with that too because I am not very good at posting frequently, and it's not even like like sometimes it's just because I don't have anything to post. Like there's nothing for me to do that I either haven't already done or I just don't have anything new that I've bought. Or I don't get time to record, which is why last weekend I recorded like eight different videos. Um, so that way I could like post one a week on Saturdays, which I think I still have one posting this coming Saturday from when I record this. Um, and on my other channel I've been trying to work on stuff. Because, yeah. Um... And I have like a bunch of stuff planned, it's just I have to edit them and have the motivation to edit them. And some don't need edited, but I still have to watch them to make sure that they don't need edited because I'm like, yeah. Um, and I need a better setup in general so I can stop showing my face as much. It's not like I don't want my face on the internet or anything, I just don't want to see it when I have to edit. I already see my face enough recording, like... Yeah. Listening to my voice is horrible still, too. So, yeah. Um. You're probably not going to see much of some of my collection if the setup happens. Because, like, it's going to be, like, like, how do I explain this? Like, it's going to be, 
Like, I'm gonna have, like, my MHA stuff. Um, maybe my, like, princesses or something, or, like, oddballs. Like, the kit bowl thing. I probably have that out of box. But I don't know if this is happening at this house or when we move. Because I know when we move, I'm gonna have, like, all of my at least, like, favorite sets out of box because they look better. The only problem is you run out of room faster when you do that. That's why I was thinking I was like, do like FNAF, MHA, maybe like my aerial line or Encanto, stuff like that. Like oddball little sets that they're not going to make more of or whatever. Like Squid Games. That would be so cool to have out of box. But that I, would, I can't speak. That would also be a good one to keep in box because right now at least there's only eight normal size Funko Pops. And those Funko shells that they sell hold exactly eight Funko Pops like this. Or like this. No, they hold like this. It's like there's eight across like this. And that would be like great. Um, I'm probably going to have my 10 inches for display too though. Anyway, enough of me rambling on about stupid crap. I have Little Mermaid. This is the Entertainment Earth exclusive and the only normal aerial that I have besides like the big set, like the, the, mo mini, the movie moment and then about half, yeah, yeah, half of the normal size of the live action because I have Ariel and Ursula, I need Eric and King Tran and then obviously the friends thing. I'd also like to have all my movie moment type stuff out of box when we move. Like, I want the Moana where she's on her little boat. That would be one that would need out of box, or that would be good out of box. And like the Ariel one, and there's like Star Wars ones that if they're in my room they'll be probably out of box. This is a super cool. This is a, I was not expecting this rubbery material. Like, this, I, li I like this feeling. Her head's a lot looser than I thought it was going to be, too. I think it's because of the slick material. But that's really cool. The, um, oh, sorry. See-through. Her head's, like, it's see-through, but it's not see-through. Like, you can see the light changing when I move my finger, but it's not see-through. Yeah, that makes sense. But her body sure is. I'm actually, I actually, I really like these stands, but I also hate them because, like, I personally haven't broken them yet, but they seem very fragile because I see lots of people break them or snap them out, and it's like, if I dropped, like, if I had the set of box on a shelf and somebody slammed a door and it fell off the shelf, that's probably gonna break if her whole body doesn't break off, but... That's, I guess that's my problem, not Funko's. <laughs> um, I was going to do the tie-dye spring trap in a different video, but I already showed you to him. I already showed him to you twice. I might as well just show him off now. Say that like that's a horrible thing to do. But... should have waited to do this part like after the video on the mall this would have made this a lot shorter but then I can't tell you about all the stupid crap that I'm doing right now so yay not that anyone asked not that anyone's watching this mm. I honestly don't know why I film these videos because like most people it's like oh you just talk to yourself and then when you post it later in the future you're actually talking to bunch of people whether it be 10 people or 28 million people but me I'm talking to myself and then I post it online and I'm still talking to myself which is kind of funny now 
That doesn't really bother me because I mean I am cringe and I wouldn't want to watch me either so it doesn't make me like feel bad or anything. But it's kind of, it's almost ironic to me. It's like my other channel. I don't have like millions of views. I don't even have like 20 views half the time. But I got two people. Well, one person that watches all of my videos and another person that tries. a 10 inch. I didn't realize that's what that was. Um, but then it's like I at least have comments to respond to. You know, even if this doesn't work out, this is still probably what I'm going to do because I think I'm probably going to collect forever. I mean, I have liked, like, FNAF. I have liked since I was four years... Yeah, four years old. Since I was four years old. Well, I just turned five. Yeah, whatever. 2014, I have liked it since it came out. Like, this is something that I have loved since the beginning. If I get, like, I understand maybe when I grow up I don't like FNAF, but all this stuff that I worked so hard getting, I'm probably not going to sell. Like, my entire childhood was Five Nights at Freddy's, collecting or not. So, I think it would be idiotic of future me to get rid of that stuff. And even then, it's fun, like, recording these videos and buying the crap and rearranging it's fun like I find joy in doing that stuff so I could be 80 years old by then all this crap that I have I'll probably be auctioning off if my kids don't know what FNAF is because Steel Wool decided that it's been going on for 28 years now and there's 500 I mean it's been going on for like 40 years now and there's like 38 39 games and they're about to come out with the 28th sequel sequel to Security Breach and their 900th story for the Pizzaplex Fazbear Fright series is I hope FNAF stays relevant that long Like, this was world-changing. This was a world-changing game. Like, almost everybody at least knows what Five Nights at Freddy's is. Whether they've just heard Five Nights at Freddy's and don't know it's a game or not. Or they've played it. They've seen someone else play it. Their grandkids play it. Their sister plays it. Like, everybody knows what F FNAF is. Or have an idea. That doesn't mean everybody likes it, but it's something that most people know exists. It's all over the internet. Especially with this year. This is the year of Spring Trip. This is the year of FNAF 3. It's also the year of FNAF altogether. With the two new games, the movie, um, this stuff even. Like, the merch has been amazing. Like, we're getting this Sun and Moon figures, Sun and Moon plush. We just got Sun and Moon U2s that are, like, they're all really high quality. The Hex is coming out with, like, two series. Like, FNAF, this is a good year for FNAF. The FNAF movie, I pro I think I already said that, but like the like the FNAF movie, that alone is amazing. Like I am so excited. Anyway, what I was talking about doing. This video is already twenty minutes. Here we have Tiny Spring Trap. And this card is the same as all the other ones, except it has a Walmart exclusive sticker. And this one is more, like, canon without being canon. Like, it has more, like, a, of a canon color scheme, and it just looks more like the, like the actual spring trap. Except, like, this should probably be dimmer and not yellow. Like, this is accurate. Like, this is great. Like, I'm not even mad that this is printed on. Like, look at how good that looks. We love organs. And this head just has nothing in it. <laughs> like, the ear, even. 
Like, hold on. Let me get spring trap. Like the original spring trap. <laughs> oh, spring. <laughs> Like, we have the hard nose. Like, this This guy's colors, if they were more green, I think they're more accurate. But the design of this guy is more accurate, if that makes sense. Smush them together. <laughs> like, like, you can see, like, the differences pretty well just by looking at it. The only difference is that this guy goes all the way around, this guy does not. But they have, like, all the wires pretty much the same the ears are similar the sky's different but yeah oh and this one has a tag and this one does I'm joking they both came with tags I just decided when I got this guy I was so excited I was gonna sleep with him as you can tell I still do <laughs> and his tag came off I hate myself I'm gonna get a new one eventually I'm probably gonna keep him though because like he's well loved He's gone through a lot. Anyway. Very. High quality. He's very soft. Sorry, he's looking at the tags. Honestly, out of all the plush, I'd recommend, like, the tie-dye. I know this is, like, really late, but I'd recommend getting this guy because he's the most like accurate looking even though he's tie-dye if that makes sense so yay all right that's it for this video it'll be out eventually no idea when this will probably be out on like september I have so many videos, I'm sure, like, I could, honestly, with the amount of videos, if I wanted to get them all out, like, near when, when I recorded them, I could post them all, like, now, like, have one every single day, basically, but I try to post, like, every Saturday, because I normally don't have enough stuff to record and post every Saturday, because, like, like, yeah, so when I get a bunch of stuff, I try to separate them into different videos, so I have more to, like, post, anyway, Stop talking. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.